Alrighty, so for today, we are back with another Inktober video, and today's word on the prompt list that Jake Parker compiled is shy. Now, when I was thinking about what to draw for shy, I was thinking of all the typical shy characters we know from like Disney, which would be like Sadness from Inside Out, or Piglet from Winnie the Pooh, or you know, there are plenty other shy characters out there. So then I thought about Illuminations Sing and Mina being shy. So I love the movie Sing. Um, I did a whole video how I transformed all the main characters from Sing into people and what I thought that they would look like as people characters. I really love Sing. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that, but it's like one of the animation movies I can sit down and watch it over and over and over again and never get tired of it because it's a feel good kind of movie. It's got everything in it and I love it so much and I love Mina and I love her voice so I love the ending part how she closed out the show and because out throughout the whole movie if you haven't seen Sing she was the shyest elephant shyest performer and she really could sing she just had like a meek humbleness to her that she knew she could sing but she was just so scared she was scared of the stage and scared of performing in front of others and Buster kept telling her, if you love it, then fear shouldn't hold you back from what you love to do. So go out and sing, and once you start singing, everything will be better. So I love Buster Moon and Mina's relationship, and I was like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about Mina, because I planned on doodling sadness for today's video, and for my post for Inktober on Instagram, and then I thought, no, Mina! What about Mina from Sing? Oh my goodness, I need to draw Mina! <laughs> so that's why I drew Mina today, and I did half and, um, like, all kinds of different ink mediums today because I used my ink, my real ink wash with my water brush pen, and I used cross hatching with my ballpoint pen, and I used a Copic marker, and I used a white gel pen. It's all ink, it all counts! <laughs> But I can't believe we're already seven days into Inktober. So that means if you have been doing Inktober every single day so far and you have completed every single day and I've seen your post on Instagram where you have posted an ink doodle on your Instagram, congratulations. Give yourself a round of applause. That's my golf clap. Woo! I just look for a sound effect down here to see if I can find an applause like clapping noise thing let's see let's see if i can find that okay <laughs> but yes i am so happy for you if this is your first inktober and you've just gotten through your first week we only have three weeks left to go and then halloween approaches and i'm so excited because this is my birthday month and I, I actually have a birthday in this wonderful Inktober and I keep looking at the 19th post and I'm trying to figure out how I can adjust it more for me as a happy birthday to me. It's the 19th and I want to make it interesting. So yeah, I'm trying to think of that. But yeah, yes, one week. We got one week, guys. Congratulations. I will see you all tomorrow for that eighth beginning of week two. See you all later. Bye.